Hey guys. Okay, I've gotten a couple of comments. Um, people wanting to just me expand a little bit more about what I'm looking for on this um, assignment for the thesis. So basically, we're looking at uh, if you should get a compare and contrast uh, statement. This is how you're going to kind of go about writing that thesis. Okay, so number one, determine what the prompt is asking for. Let me move myself here. Let me just get out of here. I don't, you don't need to see my little face. Okay. Okay, I think I can do that. Nope, I guess I can't. Okay, determine what the prompt is asking. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is you're going to be looking at the keywords in the prompt. So this one, you're comparing what's the same and contrasting what's different about the Hamiltonian and Jeffersonian movements in regard to the long-term social and economic outlook of the United States. Okay, so is it asking you to talk about the personalities of Hamilton and Jefferson? No. It's asking you to talk about their philosophies of government in regards to the long-term effects it's going to have on a social and economic outlook of the United States. So you're looking at the movements, okay, you're looking at the long-term effects. So in other words, you can, you can go with this, um, basically this is talking about historical time period three, when they are developing these, these uh, philosophies. However, you can go up into any long-term uh, philosophy that you feel fit, okay? What, what did it influence the lead-up to the Civil War? Uh, it, did it influence how our society looks today, okay? So if you can make those correlations, that is what that question is looking at. And remember, it's looking at two things, social and economic, okay? So you're comparing and contrasting, that's two things. Hamiltonian and Jefferson movements, two things, and in regard to social and economic outlook. So this is kind of a complicated question, right? This is, you're, you're going to get into this a little bit. So let's look and see what's the best way to do something like this. All right, if you're comparing and contrasting, and you guys are all familiar with Venn diagrams, you've done them many, many times. What's the same? What was different? And again, you're not saying, okay, uh, Hamilton was born in Nevis and Jefferson was born in uh, Virginia. That's not what you're looking at. You're looking at their particular movements and what they believed in. So this is just a, a small uh, list. You might have one of your own, but of course uh, with the Constitution, Thomas Jefferson, strict interpretation, Alexander Hamilton, loose interpretation. Uh, example, uh, Bank of the United States, uh, that implied deal. Now, how can you use this, perhaps, uh, the way we're selecting Supreme Court justices today? Um, you can maybe pull up Marshall, okay, where Marshall of course, is going to be a Hamiltonian. And even though we're going to have Democratic Republicans for a period of time after uh, Jefferson's election, the court is going to establish judicial review. The long-term effect of Hamilton's loose interpretation of the Constitution is going to be the Marshall Court. Okay, trade. Now, and, and again, that is both economic and social, isn't it? The court uh, decides cases on both of those. So you could, you could bring up some court cases. Uh, trade, agrarian versus industry, tariffs, high tariffs, and so forth. North, south, right? That's social, that's economic. Political, uh, again, limited government, states' rights, with uh, Thomas Jefferson, strong federal government, with Alexander Hamilton. Were these uh, compact theory, things that led up to the Civil War? Social, Thomas Jefferson favored France, Hamilton, Eng uh, England, okay, Anglophile, Francophile. Okay, what are the same things? They both favored uh, uh, an educated populace. I mean, that's, uh, that's something that, that both of them fought for in the Revolution. You might even mention that in your context, that both of these guys, I mean, Declaration of Independence, Hamilton, uh, 
Quint joined up with uh, George Washington fighting for freedom, fighting for these rights, the Bill of Rights, the things that um, ended up in our Constitution. They both believed in the future greatness of our country. So there's things that are the same, things that are different. Again, uh, uh, then very helpful in figuring out how you're going to group those things. All right, so here's the long term. We mentioned this before. States' rights versus a strong federal government, which, again, let me move myself. Okay, because I think I cover things up here. All righty. Okay, um, agrarian society versus an industrial nation, north-south. Uh, again, effects, long-term effects that lead to the, the Civil War. In today's society, uh, you might argue the, the claim that, yes, they did have similarities, but today we are more towards Hamiltonian. You could say, make a claim that uh, there is a strong federal government now and more and more people depend on that government. Um, you can debate the Constitution. There's many different ways you can go with this, and again, it depends on the claim that you want to make. So let's kind of put this together, all right? All right, so when you're writing your thesis, number one, you decide which direction you want to go, okay? And it's always good. You've got your context in the very first part of your paragraph, and then there's that all-important thesis statement with a compare contrast and with other things when you're evaluating. Uh, it's good to start out with that qualifier, okay? Although, while, despite, even though, there's other words. So you'd say, although this, this, okay? On the other hand, now you're setting up your essay. So you can start out with the items that you've compared and then give your arguments on the contrast and come up with a very strong conclusion, okay? So let's look at an example, okay? And again, you don't need to use this one. Please uh, go, go with your own deal. Although Jeffersonian and Hamilton movements both, and again, you're looking at those things you did in your pen, bump, 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 in the long run, and this is the claim that we are more into Hamiltonian uh, uh, concepts today. Although, in the long run, Hamilton had more effect on the social and economic policies in the United States as evidenced by. Okay, and this is the important part. You aren't just repeating the prompt. You're giving something specific that you're going to be talking about in your essay. Okay, this particular argument is saying as evidenced by the events leading up to the Civil War and or the current power of the courts and the federal government. Okay, now you're going to get specific in your essay itself. Okay, so that's it, you guys. Um, real quick, uh, just again, just this this assignment is just the thesis itself, but you got to come up with some information to do a good job with it. Okay, if you have any other questions, just let me know.